Hi everybody, welcome back. We're gonna do cushion grip in my top denture, and I'm gonna use a trick that I learned when I did my impressions with Denture Box. They do it a, a neat way, so you get a seal, you get a suction, and I'm just talking without my teeth in. This is the one I just did, and you could see the seal. There's a seal and a suction there. All right, when you do the cushion grip, you want this to soak. This tube, to, well, first you put the key on it, and suck because it's easier to twist and to come out and I'm trying to talk with just my <laughs> and put it in warm water for five minutes hot warm water the goal is to try to loosen up this cushion grip so it's pliable my denture is dry clean and dry so what I'm going to do get the cushion grip out dry your fingers if you want to squeeze out a big ball we're going to do a big ball here. See that? And then roll it into a hot dog. Place it in your denture. Just place that in your denture. Get some more. Roll it like a hot dog. Place it in your denture. Okay. So what we want to do is put that in there but you want it to go up on the edge of this denture as high as you can get it i'll probably have to put some in there maybe see how high on this ridge that i'm getting that because i'm doing that that's going to create a seal if you have to use a toothpick oops if you have to let me get a little another dot and just put it in the center. And there goes the dog. Of course there goes the dog. See this? See how high it is? Now, we're going to cover the denture with it. Get another ball out. I'm going to just get another ball out. And then we're going to flatten this one. And just kind of put it in there. Get some more if you want. You want to cover your whole denture now here let me tell you this too to help from gagging I stayed off this back ridge you want to get it as far back as you can but I stayed off that back ridge because what would happen is this is going to ooze out and go down my throat and that's going to cause me to gag so there see how high it is we're gonna let this sit for five minutes and, and then I'll be back. All right, now, nowhere on this instruction does it say it has to cure. It, it doesn't say leave it in for so long, it has to cure or anything. I did my bottom denture and I just left it because look at the seal that I created. See that? It's coming out the bottom, which means I got a good fit and I got a good seal. So, all right, let's put this top denture in. It's all up around here. Now, I'm wearing the bottom like it is. That's it. That's it. I'm not taking it out. I'm not letting it cure. Nothing. Now, let's. it says to put it in your mouth. Push up in the back first. Uh, uh, and then bite down. Also, if you can feel it coming up here, pull your lips out. Pull them out and down. And press up. You're creating a seal up around here. All right, I'll be right back. All right, now it's been a few minutes and I'm gonna leave them like this. I'm not taking them out. Watch, I'll, well, I'll take them out for you, but look. See it? It didn't go out the back because I put just enough back there that I needed so it wouldn't spew out the back and gag me because you all know that's a terrible feeling when you get impressions done which when you get impressions at denture box they're they're quite aware of that and, and they remedy that situation if you want to go about your day now just go about your day and your teeth will stay in um do this in the morning if you have time like on the weekend or something because some might ooze out that you might have to take your denture out and just trim but look There's my impression. And see how it's just up over my denture? We're going to leave that there. Don't, don't trim that off. 
because that's helping create the seal that's in your mouth that holds your denture. Just go about your day. Forget that you put it in there. You can clean your dentures like normal. Whatever you use, clean your dentures. You can use adhesive on top of this if you want to. If you think you need more, like if you didn't put enough in the back on the first try, you can get more out of the tube and just stick it in there and just put it back in your mouth. But there you go. You have to create the seal. All right, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you in my next video. Also, I'm going to link the... the the lower denture. I'll link that one in my description too. I'll see you next time. Bye.